Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. You know, speaking of fees and stuff like that, uh, if you play games, or use social media in the slightest, you might have heard that uh, Unity quite effectively just killed their business and their engine and their programs and all this that and the third because some corporate jackass decided oh hey we're going to introduce what we call a runtime fee and long story short if you or someone else that is a game developer makes a game with unity and once it surpasses a certain number of installs and makes a certain amount of money, every install past that point would charge you, the developer. And you would pay less if you had the Unity Enterprise, I believe, subscription? as compared to the regular Unity Pro subscription, but either way, it is the dumbest shit that a company could do. And I mean, it was so bad, for good reason, that people were saying that they were going to use, I believe it's called Godot now? Um, the company behind Cult of the Lamb made a joke tweet saying that they were going to take the game down on January 1st because that's when these supposed changes are supposed to go into effect uh unity stock started dropping like crazy which is very very funny to me um a lot of people a lot of companies a lot of devs especially indie devs because this hurts them the most because it's it's not like oh well they have to do yada 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 no it's when their product hits 200,000 installs period because they introduced some 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 uh lifetime shit that's what they called it so even if you're like not extra popular should you get lucky enough to hit the 200k mark again every install after that point will cost you money and it's so bad to where it would quite literally fucking bankrupt and zero out the pockets of a lot of people because there are a lot of really really popular indie games that are made in unity a lot of games are made in unity and companies like nintendo and sony and whatever they have games that are on their platforms that were made through unity so is it gonna be a situation of goddamn don't them getting charged too are they gonna get back in charge like the, it, it's so anti average person god damn it because it's just them doing typical corporate high-end business whatever whatever of just taking unnecessary amounts of money from people to make their lives harder for whatever reason and so that they can have more money for whatever reason. Because I don't know the exact specifics of how Unity makes their coin outside of their subscriptions and people buying the games at the Unity store and what have you. Right? I don't know the full breakdown, but god damn it, they have enough money. They don't need any more money. They they have made more than enough being around over the years because you know they are like one of the most popular engines out there to make things period with right so them introducing that and then like to to add further salt to the wound they also included in their very first statement saying some shit like oh this won't affect 90 percent of people or developers or what have you like you already disrespected enough people by going the whole, oh, hey, you're going to have to pay us 
when your product surpasses this obligatory number to then say that yeah it won't affect 90 percent of the people like damn what, what what's your problem and granted you know it's a huge company so they don't really care about the middleman and the underdogs and the what have you but to just say that not only is that incredibly demoralizing not only is that <laughs> exponentially disrespectful that's just like wow way to spit in the face of majority of your user base and it's not so much like a simple Hwatu kind of spit it's like a nasty rancid unwashed unbrushed teeth unscrubbed tongue fucking black tar type spit in the face that they did saying that majority of their users won't be able to take advantage of that or not not take advantage but be affected by it like fuck you unity genuinely and i'm not even a game developer but i have entertained the thought of making games before and you know going with unity because it's the most popular it looks pretty easy to use but uh now no fuck that and um like i said earlier i've been seeing people mention using stuff like godot and other game engine building things use those because at this point stop using unity unity don't give a fuck about you and with that statement they well they never give a fuck about you but um yeah it, it's just crazy and then i believe that they made another or at least another twitter post talking about how um well oh we we we've received a feedback and we've seen public perception and we're going to uh change some things and have a make some tweaks and have a, a a different format for it if i can find it i'll throw the tweet up on screen for you know when it makes it to youtube and whatever but man man they really really fucked up and fumbled and just made an enemy out of literally everybody like i said the the game devs people that play games the people that want to get into game design they made lifelong enemies and 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 on top of that they really they really pissed away the good graces that they've had over the years like nah man nah I, I just and, and and you know it's funny it's funny that i'm talking about this while playing final fantasy 7 which one of the main things is like hey corporates are fucking evil yeah do something about that you know dismantle the system and stuff like that it's so funny to me that they decide to do the typical super corporate greed rug pull I guess from all their people and just like not give a fuck about it like they they really thought they really really thought that people was gonna be on their side about it and everyone was gonna be up in in in, in praise and fucking joy and this and this and that like I don't know what what big wig in that meeting decided that it was going to be a good idea but they went and did anyway because the big wigs don't ever know anything about and don't even try to relate even by the smallest margin of the common man the common lady the common non-binary person you know they don't give a single damn about any of that. All they care about is lining their own pockets. And making sure that they stay afloat at the cost of everybody else. So, I guess that now they're in talks of, oh, well, we're gonna make an update and we're sorry. And instead of just making an update, how about you just don't do it at all? Yeah. 
if you just don't do it, period, no one's going to be mad. I mean, well, people are still going to be mad because it shouldn't, the decision shouldn't have been made in the first place. And it shouldn't have been like a public thing in the first place. But it's just that none of this had to happen had they just not proceeded with that line of thought. Like, genuinely, none of this shit would have gone down had they just axed that line of thinking. But, again, they want to make more money. And then, I guess, like, they thought that people wasn't going to be pressed about it because uh, the last time I um, sent, like, the breakdown table to someone, I think that the lowest someone would have been charged should their... Um, their products are past the install base or whatever it would be like like um like two cents two pennies but you know those two pennies those add up over a while and i think i saw something about like a 20 cent per install thing regardless you could charge someone a penny after the threshold is met but that shit adds up because it's not like, oh, they get one download a day, two downloads a day. No, like multiple thousands of people are acquiring said games and installing the games in one way or another. And then they also said something to the effect of like, oh, well, how does it going to affect like pirated copies or whatever? And then they said some shit like, oh, uh, surprise, there's like hardcore ad tracking data in your shit that you didn't ask for. Haha. <laughs> it's not a glitch. It's not a bug. It's a feature. And. Like. Again that, that doesn't help anybody. Because if there's multiple thousands of people. Getting the stuff. You know the right. The legal way. And not sailing the seven seas to get it. If all this crazy ad stuff. Is in it period. And then the people who pirate it. They still. The, the the dev still get hurt regardless that shit crazy bro and like I said it could be a penny and that shit would still add up that shit would still add the entire fuck up bro because like we we could do some basic simple ass math right if if the lowest that you could get charged is a goddamn penny and then a thousand people decide to get the game that's still like ten dollars and that's not over the course of like a whole day that could just be like oh uh, a game that was made in unity by a popular indie dev just dropped and it's look like it's gonna be heat and they get a thousand downloads in an hour Again, just in a single hour, and then you multiply that by 24 hours. And over the course of the day, they're getting charged $240, bro. And who knows? The game could be free. It could be, like, cheap. It could be, like, $5. But because of that stupid fucking runtime fee that they're talking about, they will likely lose money. For a long, long, long time before they bother seeing any any profit, because again, this is supposed to go into effect uh, January first, twenty twenty four, and heaven forbid that devs that make free to get games, free to play games, or whatever. I hope that they won't be in like super, super crazy shambles, but unfortunately that's likely going to happen anyway so i mean all in all unity y'all done really fumbled the bag and there is no statement there is no update there is no anything you could do to get back in the good graces of the people you pissed off because your stock is dropping like an anvil and public perception of you is pretty much entirely negative now and the the way that you know you fucked up 
is that the people who do like you know your your average uh corporate bootlicker shit huffer type of person even those people aren't in agreement with you and if those people aren't your <clears throat> aren't on your side as a huge corporate entity yeah y you fucked up you fucked up and there is no coming back do not pass go you're done you're finished Security's everywhere. but the purple rock though anyway Yeah, yeah, y'all are done. Literally, nobody likes this. Everyone disliked that. Everyone disliked it. And y'all got nobody to blame but yourselves. Nobody to blame but yourselves.